Hey friends, Jessica here with Creators Couture. So I am back in tutorial mode. I have taken a little time off to do some behind the scenes stuff, but I'm so excited today. So today we are gonna make this digital background that you see here, and we're gonna make it with two brushes, one layer style, and then I'm going to pop that over into Canva and make a template. And the template will be available for everyone to download for free. And one of my new brushes is going to be available right now on my Patreon because um, I'm actually in the process of developing some feathery brushes. And so this feathery brush that I use in this design will be available now for my Patreon members. So let's look over here. So here's where I created the background. And this is actually just using two brushes and one layer style, so it's so easy. So I'm going to go he ahead here and do put my workspace or no view and proof. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting where everything is. <laughs> okay. Arrange to up horizontal vertical. Okay. Hello. You can tell it has been a minute since I've been doing a tutorial. So let's go here. Let's shrink this down and we'll use this for reference. And so what I've done here is I've just put a rectangle in the middle and I actually went ahead and put a stroke that's the same color as the background. And I like that it creates that little separation and a little bit of negative space and it's really nice. But first I'm gonna just um, show you the brush. So this is a new brush and that I have um, from my upcoming collection and this is gonna be available for my Patreon members. And it's a really fun like feathery sort of inspired brush. And I'm gonna zoom in here. Now I'm using color palettes for my Palm Beach Garden Party collection. And this one is like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a blue one. And these are really um, great colors for summer. So I'm just gonna show you the brush in action and show you how fun that is. So as you can see here at full, um, full resolution, it's this really lovely sort of um, brush. It's got kind of like a tool pattern inside, but it's containing the, um, the feathers. So I just think it's really fun. Let's, let me just play with it here. And you can see, let's pull this back. Here, if I put it on a darker background, you can see some of the details of the brush. So as you can see, we've got this little lattice sort of uh, tool, lacy, um, lacy pattern. And then within the brush, you know, it's got its fuzzy soft borders. And then we've got these beautiful little feathers. So you can get an idea of like how nice that brush is. But this is a brush from the upcoming collection and it's available now for my Patreon members. So that's like so fun. And I think it's very couture inspired and very cool. So. You can see the little delicate wisps and it's just something different and fun. So that is the first brush that we're going to be using. And let's go here. Um, let's zoom back out here. So I'm going to just zoom so we can get a little view here. So I've made a new layer and I'm going to get my pattern stamp tool. I'm going to get my new brush. And if you don't have this brush, you can use a, another one of my free um, color blending brushes and I'll have a link down below for that. So we've got something that you can play with, but um, I'm going to get my blue color palette and let's go over to the source document here and I'm just going to peel back the layer so you can see like this is the first layer that I drew. So I um, drew just some little brush strokes like on this and here and I'm just going to, you know, not worrying about exactly where they are, but just kind of adding some of that, making sure that you have some negative space because we're going to add some more. So we are just going to add something like that. Good enough. We're happy with that. And as you can see, the brushes um, paint beautiful multicolored strokes as you paint. So if you're not familiar with this technique, um, I'll have a link down below so you can uh, check out that technique. So now the next thing I did was I added some tie-dye strokes behind that in pink. So um, if you haven't checked out my latest newsletter, 
I've updated my tie-dye brushes for Photoshop and I've actually created some pattern painters. And I think this is brush number 10, I'm hoping so. So this one is quite cool and I'm going to just give you a little demo here. Okay, so these new pattern painters, um, I created because they have uh, more just to paint the pattern, basically. That's why I call them pattern painters. The other ones have more of a watercolor effect and um, these ones are so you can actually just paint the pattern on your, on your thing. But as you can see, we've got beautiful multicolor brush strokes coming out of these. So um, we are just going to put those back on there. And then some of the negative areas, we're gonna take, I'm taking pattern painter brush 10 and I'm taking Palm Beach Garden Party palette number one. It's with a nice pink one. And I think it complements that. And I'm just going to add some, yeah, some pink sort of, I'm gonna add some strokes here, like behind the, behind the blue. And I think that looks really quite cool. So leaving some space, I think that looks cool. You've got the blue, you've got the pink. It looks really like, very summery. And the last thing we're going to do is behind the pink, or even you could add it in front of it, but I'm gonna add, um, so we use the same brush. Let's look over here. And I've used it with um, one of my 24 karat gold layer styles to add just some touches of gold here. So let's do the same thing over here. And the 24 karat gold layer style that I used was 7A. And so, oops, we don't wanna do that. Um, I'm gonna create a new layer underneath my pink and I'm gonna go ahead and add my 24 karat gold layer style. And using the same brush that I was just using, I don't have to change the, the pattern. I'm going to paint in some areas now. Here, I noticed that maybe I overpainted the pink. So what I can do is I can put this above the pink. And so we're going to, oops, I'm gonna put that layer above the pink. And then it's nice because it's the same pattern. And the, so the strokes will be in the exact same place. And so we're gonna just add some little touches of gold where we want and you know, we wanna leave some of the pink, but we just want some little bit of touches of gold, that's pretty. And then, you know, we still wanna feel some of those negative spaces in there, so we don't wanna cover everything, but I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna leave it like that, so let's compare the two of them. They're pretty similar here. Okay. So, cool, good enough. And I like that um, using those bright colors against kind of a taupe, and it's kind of a fresh color palette and feels very summery. So you can make your own version of this. And as you can see, it's just like two brushes and like not to toot my own horn, but you know, of course, a lot of you guys know I am not a painter and I'm not, uh, I like doing abstract things because I can't, <laughs> can't draw very realistically. So, but you could look at this um, background here and you could think, wow, this was like somebody really skilled. This is like, looks like it took some time. But as you can see, we just used two brushes, two color palettes and a layer style. And now we have a really cool um, digital background and we can create our own um, items for sale. We can create client work. You can create, um, you know, your own Canva templates or whatever. So, you know, uh, I'm here to empower the creators and give you some ideas and stuff. So let me know down below if you have any questions. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you have notifications. And I will have the link down below. The, the final template will be available for free for everybody. And then this brush is a special Patreon bonus. So that's gonna be available just to my Patreon members right now. And then soon I hope to have that um, feathery collection finished. But I always wanna give my Patreon members extra things or sneak peeks or early access or whatever. So you can use whatever brushes you have and you know use these kind of techniques to make your own things. And here's my little quote graphic. And I don't know if you guys are on TikTok, but 
this is one of my favorite sounds of Lady Gaga doing, um, saying that people can do hard things. And usually it's somebody saying something that they did that's like really uh, a small thing. And so I had to have my own little twist on it um, because I work from home. So sometimes I can be in the same clothes for a couple days. So anyway, um, just check out all the links down below. I will um, put whatever, I'll put the links to the brushes that I use. And if you have any questions, just let me know.